All right, welcome back. We're just going to be taking a look at some random Windows games today. And the first one we'll take a look at is Flashpoint. Why Flashpoint? Well, I saw it on Big Fry's channel. They exactly have the best, definitely seem to have some issues. As far as the developer is concerned, seems like a younger developer that's just ended up hopping on Steam. Oh, missed the legacy early access start moved. But yeah, there's some issues. Apparently this is essentially just breach of contract, and then breach of contract reloaded, rolled into a new game. Yeah, here we go. Skin progress. Let's see how it's go looking on Steam as far as reviews go. Not really too concerned about the reviews. Let's see. It used to be a buy to play game, now it's free to play. Flashpoint aims for a special online FPS games. Play today and unlock skins, challenge others, and win with a real time level editor. Go crazy and build your own mad creations. We stayed on March 22nd, 2019. Aiden Gig is the developer and publisher. I'm actually curious about something. Is Breach of Contract actually available under this same game? Oh, well, two different games called Fantasy Gladiators. Okay, we want this game. Where is it? Flashpoint. See community hub. Six achievements. Someone thought Big Fry was too harsh on the developers. Problem is, one person is being a consumer advocate and there's some serious concerns when you have
This one free to play will add new features. Get through the inactivity. So yeah, a lot of people are saying this is just breach of contract reloaded. Let, let's, I haven't played breach of contract, I haven't played breach of contract reloaded. And all three games have mixed to negative reviews. Well, let's see. Browse, are there any servers? No matches, create a new match. Up to 12 players. Re Let's see. Domination. Motorcade. Please join. So yeah, the lack of players is a, an issue. Player spawns. Oh wow, text pre alpha build. So since 2019, it's 2021, it's still pre alpha build. Okay, so what am I supposed to be? I'm supposed to be taking over some areas. Okay, leave the map. Let's try to leave the map. So what am I supposed to be capturing here? It's a domination. Reloading. Okay, the barrels Reloading. don't explode. You get bu bullet holes. Reloading. One of the areas to take over. <laughs> like if I knew the developer that made this, I'd play the game. See why other people would. Oh, 
Okay. There's nothing to do. Can I leave the map? Might as well try to leave the map. Why do I have negative one? I have negative one ammo. Okay, drive the vehicles. No destructible environments. Can't gain XP, can't do the mission, can't. There's just nothing here. And yeah, if there's other players I could do a very standard, very standard like first FPS game by somebody. Let's see what we can find out. Looks like there's a LinkedIn Instagram I don't know if this is the right person. Here we go, Art Station.
Or is Breach of Contract for... Actually, Breach of Contract for Android. We are going to download that and take a look at it some other day. But yeah, there's just, there's nothing here to really assess. It's about as standard as you can get for a, an FPS game. And well, there's no players. Steam charge flashpoint. There hasn't been any players the past 30 days, it looks like. I am the population. Version 7.5.5 says an early access. Yeah, I can't. I mean, at least I can start a server. But yeah, there's just nothing here. And the whole breach of contract, breach of contract reloaded situation gives me serious concerns. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put it, let's put it to the review. I mean, I can, I can see the bear, I can see this, I can see glimpses of talent if this person had a couple other people he's working with on the game. It doesn't seem like there's any direction to this game. This I guess people can make levels, but people can make levels with other games as well. Doesn't feel terribly optimized. There's nothing really there as far as graphics and sound. Very bare bones gameplay. Nothing creative, really. And the maps weren't terrible. I've seen worse maps, but. I guess it got rolled over to free to play. So, yeah, as it sits right now, it's a 1.5 out of 5. And I not recommend. I would love to see what the developer creates in the future. And I did add all of the games we've covered on the channel and in written reviews thus far. So let's see where it's where does it hold up. 1.5 puts it down here. I'd say it's worse than Bless Online, worse than Tempest, worse than that. Royal Quest, Slapshot. I'll give it the bump over Royal Quest just because that. Royal, these games are more complete though. You know, all those games have are more complete and also free to play. So yeah, we'll put it 150th out of 163 games. It did beat Deathmatch by a full point, but yeah, as it sits now, there's it's just there's just not enough here. Okay, so what do we what? Can we look at next? Go ahead and put flashpoint in there. Let's 
Let's make this FPS stream. So we got in the library. I mean, use a Steam Workshop to create maps. At least it has that going for it. Actually, let's. FPS. Save as a dynamic collection, confirm. Group by collection. So we have FPS. Six seasons of game, quality game. Brain bread. That's not an FPS at all. Okay, what do we got? FPS boys. Go with Pilo. Pilo, published and developed by Codev Games, sits at 50% with 59 reviews. And what else has Codev Games worked on? According to this, nothing else. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Made with Unity. Starts off by appropriately attributing the different things that were used to create the game, the different building blocks. I have a feeling this game isn't going to have any players either. Remember me. Uh, hello? Is this a dead game? Looks like it is a dead game. See that, that's... Put Pilo on the list. At a zero, that's, there's no game. Still on the Steam store, but no game. So hey, so far Flashpoint's winning today. And we might as well just, while we're here, we might as well just put it in the dead game category.
Did I play long enough to leave a review? Oh no, I gotta play a little bit longer, it looks like. Say while we're at it, we might as well. We have our review for, what was that other game? Board game, FPS. Okay. Request and judge this Goodbye. You can make your own pros. You can make your own maps in S Steam Workshop. The maps and the game itself show at the beginning stages of potential future talent as a game designer albeit these are not realized in any capacity yet you can Host your own server, helping preserve longevity of the game. It's free to play now. A wise decision. potentially spark a population increase. There is literally no active player base. The maps all follow similar design layout only Whopping sets and uh, environment for no real destructive ability, which makes it feel very much 
Like, uh, like, it's false. Like, it's, which definitely takes away from the immersion. The gunplay is subpar even for an indie project and the sound effects and music well not wholly out of place definitely don't help this title create an identity of its own I'll definitely check it out again. It's also real. It also could benefit from an additional optimization pass, perhaps compressing some textures and assets to help speed up loading times, increase frame rates. Increase frame rate. Maybe even some animated objects could be added. Help the maps feel like they are actual lived in locations. Definitely check it out again in the future. However, there's just nothing really here for me to to, to recommend it even conditionally we recommend it even to the most hardcore of Call of Duty style FPS fans. Best of luck to your future endeavors. Developer. I'm Use your D projects from Steam and their failures. as an opportunity to learn and grow. Believe that in five to 10 years time that you will be capable of making some really quality titles if you focus on your Focus on building upon your strengths and identify in really and also improve upon your weaknesses. Definitely focus on your next titles, vision, and and scope, especially how it will differ from other titles on the market. Help can create a title with its own identity. Okay. There we go, there we go. So yeah, I think we were in Pilo long enough to, to be able to leave a review. Can we now leave a review for Pilo and get on with our lives and pick a third game? Actually, it looked pretty fun, though. That's the thing.
13 minutes so I can leave a review. This FPS requires logging in to a centralized server that is no longer online, which means the title is essentially unplayable without without developer intervention to provide server hosting tools or significant reverse engineering and hacking efforts. Score. Given I was unable to play the game as it is provided on Steam, the score given is a 0, 0 0.0 out of 5. There we go. No to Pilo. But yeah, let's... Here, we'll watch the... Let's make sure that I have this up properly. Okay, let's actually watch the game. Let's watch the trailer. And let me, let me, I'll turn my volume off. And here, we can watch the trailer for this. This is the game we missed out on. That is enough of that. So yeah, let's try one more game. Let's see. And before we do that, let's look for local files. Pilo. Get it out of our Steam library folder, put in our Steam backups. Move it over to dead games. And uninstall. Yeah, what do we have in FPS action source? Alien Arena. Take a look at this one. Alien Arena, Warrior. 
of Mars. I actually like the old Alien Arena game. Seeing it 77% positive. Release date of November 3rd, 2017 by COR Entertainment LLC. Steam must be running to play this game. It is running. That is odd. Steam is definitely running. People were saying play Quake Champions, but Quake Champions is quite a different game than Quake 3 Arena. Even if the core gameplay, the core gameplay is similar. But there's a lot of elements that make them quite divergent. Why isn't this game working, is it? That's the question. Well, they were charging money for this before. Okay, looks like we're about to go into compet. That's two games. Recent. Oh wait, is it running someplace? This is odd because the original Alien Arena runs just fine. So why doesn't this one run? Try that. Try that. Try 
Try that. Verify the game file integrity. So you took a an open source game and just put it on Steam and started charging money for it. Okay. What is the issue here? Steam is obviously running. Can you just skip Steam? Apparently I can. At least it looks like I can. Yep. Guess that's one way to do it. Just <laughs> bypass Steam. Still going through the map selection. Apparently,
This game does have Linux and Mac OS support. It used to used to be one of my favorite FPS games to play. Bot options. There we go. The frag limit of ten. Begin. Yeah, this is built on the IO Quake 3 engine. Okay. Really like the environments. Let's see. There we go. This game still holds up quite well in my opinion. Okay. Looks like it uses Discord for its matchmaking nowadays. As well as just being able to server browse. Mind Eraser is spawned. Where is my opponent?
Oh no. Welcome to my controls. There we go. No, I blew myself up. Is this a real gun? Nope. More like a grenade launcher type thing. Love the music. There we go. Got him. And yeah. I'm I am not doing so well. That's all right. There we go.
one health. Alternate fire. There we go. So yeah, I'd definitely rather play Quake 3 Arena. But this is quite a good arena shooter. With quite a few issues trying to get it up and running. But what's the full title of this version of it? Yeah, let's go ahead and head over to 